and now we're on 101 headed up the Pacific Crest Coast Highway headed towards Oregon we stopped in Trinidad last night and or yesterday afternoon beautiful beach did a little small hike around another coastal uh, conservation area and the water was gorgeous it was a beautiful scenery and we stopped in a little town called Trinidad well Trinidad was so cute oh my gosh um, and we found a neat little restaurant and brewery and we stopped there and had dinner and got up this morning early got to go to the beach and have coffee which was nice but now we're back on 101 headed to the redwoods and we've got redwoods national forest in front of us as well as uh, several state parks and also the National Park of the Redwoods. So we will be checking in later from the Redwoods. Spotted some elk. Relaxing. Freshwater lagoon on the right side of Highway 101. I don't see any boats. I figured that'd be. This is Highway 101, and then the ocean's on the other side. And we've just entered the Redwood Forest National, or National Park, Park, and we'll be seeing state parks as well. Never boring on Highway 101. We are on day seven. Botanist stuff. Planting shit, saving trees, that kind of stuff. Horse rides through the ancient redwoods. to the trail for the Lady Bird Johnson Grove. It was dedicated to her just because of her nature, being a nature lover. I thought it was interesting, they said that the bark could get up to a foot wide for fire protection, it's spongy, <coughs> and insect protection. Here was stop one on the route. read about in number two that some of these trees are 600 to 800 years old. Johnson Grove. Nice little mile and a half trail. Did not disappoint. Little 360 here. A lot of ferns. Every time you turn a corner, there's a big one.
shelter. I keep noticing these pink flowers walking through. Really pretty flowers. But it's kind of neat. Some kind of tree or shrub, I don't know. Day seven, and we just finished the Lady Bird Johnson Redwood tour. Been a walking tour, learned a lot about them. Pretty neat. Elk crossing, maybe we'll have some luck. Right. So we just got off of 101 on a scenic byway, some hikers. That runs parallel with 101, but it's a little, probably a little slower pace than the 101 highway. Hopefully gonna spot some elk. There's some bulls. Oh good. Is that Summerland Velvet, it looks like? They're all Velvet. Oh, are they? They don't look that big from here. I guess they're bigger up close. Well, I'm trying to get you a picture of them. Got it, right here, look here. Looks pretty good, doesn't it? Something's got their attention. I must be coming back down the woods. So, so far we learned about the redwoods, the longest living plants. They live six to eight hundred years. Oh, that was interesting. We learned about the uh, this area because of all the fog and the mo moisture that the leaves grab a lot of that, that water from the moisture and because of the temperature here. And what did it say, one third of the water that they get, uh, it comes from that, not, not the groundwater or rain, but from the fog. I thought that was interesting. Ball of Trine. Uh -huh. It's like the third ball. World's third largest ball of Trine is just a short two and a half hour drive away. Yeah, that's the third largest ball of Trine. Yeah, that's the third largest ball of Trine. Grab 
Take a little walk down Inverts Beach down to there. So they say there are starfish. I'm not sure if we're at the right tide or not, but I know we saw one the other day, but it would be cool to see some more. So we're having a little little hike to go check out the beach. Misty. I guess that's par for the course in this part of the country. Put a bird on that rock down there. Canopy of trees. Here the ocean out to the right. Down to Indert Beach. It's got a sprinkle on us. A little storm's coming. So I think we're here at high tide. We're supposed to be here at a low tide. The beach looks a little darker than where we've been. Well, missed out on the starfish. Got a little moisture on us, but these um, overhangs onto the trail sure do help. Anyway, we're headed back. No luck on starfish. Been a good day. Yes, it has been a good day. Redwood National Park, several uh, state beaches and national beaches that we got to stop in at, and uh, wow, just unbelievable. Now, T Bone and I were just discussing what a beautiful state California is, and that how long? Two months. We've been here almost two months. And so we started in Campo on the 23rd of April. Spent the night there, and we have been in California since then either doing the Pacific Crest Trail or the Pacific Coast Highway. And now we are running up Highway 101, getting ready to cross over into Oregon. And we got redwood trees on both sides of us. Just 
just unbelievable views. Still looking at the Pacific Ocean out the uh, left side. It's just really been a great adventure so far. Why, what are the most beautiful things we saw in California? I mean, I know on the coastline, we decided to see beautiful beaches, water. Uh, we also got to see a lot of snakes. Or you did. <laughs> uh, California also had the redwoods. The farming, that was what was so interesting to me, all their agriculture. That was awesome. The vineyards, oh my goodness. Well, and the ranching. And all the ranching. A lot of cattle ranches. Uh, not only that, but the uh, the wildflowers were just astounding. And that I don't know if that was just uh, because of the year they had, but I mean, we're still seeing most gorgeous wildflowers. Yeah, Big Sur was pretty amazing. On the uh, you know looking at the Pacific Coast side, true. That was impressive. Oh, and what I mean, I know we kept saying it over and over was the. The feeling of the air and the it was very refreshing. It wasn't a coasty feeling. I don't know when I go to the coast in Texas, it's like ugh, a druggy or a muggy, muggy and humid. Yes, yeah, I didn't feel slimy. that. I don't know why. It's a little bit different feel. Well, it's cooler here. Oh, that's why I guess. For the sure. Temperature. Our temperature has been really mild down in the 40s at night and barely into the 60s during the day and. Of course, if it's overcast at all, it feels even cooler. And the smell, right? The smell was so, such a just fresh, fresh smell. Just yeah, smell. the uh, I don't know. The San Jacinto uh, mountain chain was pretty, uh, pretty amazing. That was enjoyable. The mountain towns, I loved. Idlewild, definitely Point. a win. Uh, Wrightwood was definitely a win. All the mountain towns, yeah. They were really quaint, cute, and the co some of these co little coastal towns have been. Each one seems to have their own personality, which has been really cute. You know, but like some of the restaurants we've been to in some of these small towns, like the one we went to last night. Been in the same family since 1975. Very nice lady. Great food. Is all seafood. You know, right on the ocean, and. Uh, and she let us stay in her parking lot uh, in Boondock overnight. Said, "Don't worry about it." Yeah, uh, just very, very nice, nice people. Really, really enjoyed it. Northern California does have its own beauty as well. And we didn't go along the coast in the Southern California part, but well, we went down the Big Sur as far south as we could go. Uh, California Highway 1, or the Pacific Coast Highway, was closed for about a 20-mile section by Lucio. I think that's how you say it. Lucio. Because of a mudslide. But we went down as far as we could go before the closure, and then turned around and drove it all the way to the final sign that said ends California 1, and then it turned into U.S. Highway 101, 101. which is what we've been on. A lot on. of times it had been merging 101 anyway, U.S. 101. And yeah. The California one, but and uh, Pinnacle State uh, National Park was a nice surprise. The cave, I never going through the caves. That was fun. Yeah, Pinnacle State uh, National Park. That was a national, national park. park. So we did the redwoods and the, and the Pinnacles. We did so far. We got two more national parks in our. And we also did the National Seashore. Oh yeah, that's right. The only one on the this Pacific side. Anyhow, what a great. Trip. So many things, like we're t trying to remember something. We've seen so many things, it's hard to remember. But uh, we're getting ready to enter into Oregon, and we're excited about going to see Oregon. State Line Road. Here it is right here. Welcome. Marie County. We honor veterans and first responders. We're good. Redwoods Trail, Oregon. We're in Oregon. They didn't have a very big sign up there. I know it. You see the coast on the left. Oh my gosh, look at the RV park down there. Yep, so it's RV park on the beach, it's a chalk walk. 
that blue graffiti on it. Oh. All right, stay on this, yeah, take a left. Stay. That's just hard to park in the beach there. Fort Brookings Harbor. Fort Brookings Harbor. That's the doors. That's a nice rock. Lady Louise Oda, number one. Sold out. Oh, I didn't say that. Well, that's Lady Louise. That's not Bounders. Oh. Bounders Fresh Crabs right there. And just when you thought it was safe to go back in the water, <laughs> we got harbor seals, boys, laying on the deck in all their fatness, looking up at us like, really? You're bothering me right now? These are the first seals we've seen in Oregon. <laughs> first day we've been there. And they look just as lazy as the ones we saw in California. So there you go. Well, here we are at our first beach in Oregon. Just got done eating at a really good seafood restaurant. The prime catch around here is crab, but not the Alaskan king crab, the smaller crabs. 